Canada, a sophomore, Elkhorn High. Elkhorn High Four! Woo! <laughs> um, this poem is called Tiger Lily, and it's for my mom, who is in the audience today. Hey, mom. <laughs> um, um, the house I share with you is beautiful. The tiger lilies out front never wilt, daddy never yells, and you put band-aids on my scraped knee when I lose the bike race to the pavement. But moving from the house that was my home to just a house changed everything. Age seven, the tiger lily is planted, and I grow up 472 miles away from that home. At 10, mom works to keep our stomachs from making noises, and the tiger lily makes its first appearance above ground. Two more years reveal mom's true age, stress. And by 13, even though I know it's just a part of growing up, I hate her. And the tiger, the tiger lily fully blossoms into something mutated, deformed, unnatural, wrong. Well, a mother and a daughter's relationship is supposed to be sacred, but ours is not. My mother pushes me so hard to stay that it's terrifying. I'm choking on my own snot and tears, and I can't see where I'm going, and it's not just because it's dark. I see now that I caused it. I see it, Mom, and I'm sorry. Today, 15, nothing satisfies anymore. The tiger lily has long since wilted, and all it does is order special pain for my mom when she sees my, my tiger stripes, my battle scars, my verticals, my crisscross, my shame lines. From long nights alone, laying on the floor in a pool of my own blood, staring at the ceiling. In front of me, my mother is begging, sobbing, begging me to stop. She does everything in her power. Thank you, Mom. I hated you for it when you couldn't trust me for longer than 10 minutes in the shower, and when my bedroom door always had to be open, no opportunity for escape. I blame myself for the agony that settled in our lives for so long. But today, your hands around mine, your fingers no longer gripping, we open up the soft earth, plant together, a new lily to blossom.